في دائما تحدى جحفنا الكفر والشرك عليكم so this is Muhammad Rajpar again today we will be discussing about the benefits of salah okay an obligation to all of the Muslims all Muslims do pray salah no matter what without an excuse and apart from the submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what are the benefits from salah in terms of Quran we will be learning today inshallah so as per the Holy Quran few are the benefits here for Muslims if they don't know already okay number one invoking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number two leading to taqwa number three reward in the life after number four staying connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Number five, protection from shaitan. Number six, prevention from lewdness. So let's discuss something about invoking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains in the Holy Quran in the chapter number two, verse number 153. <laughs> And we need to appeal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Invoking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is appealing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is better than, you know, appealing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, rather than praying? Number two, we have leading to taqwa. Muslims must be in a constant state of achieving taqwa. You know, other than giving charity, other than doing a lot of good deeds, try to be a pious and righteous person and establish salah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains in the Holy Quran, chapter number 2, verse number 2 and 3. Number 3, reward in the life after. You know, every good deed or every bad deed we do in this world, we have to answer in the hereafter. So apart from the benefits of Salah in this life for Muslims, there are the rewards, there are better rewards in the life after. You know, you cannot just benefit Salah in this world, but there are the rewards for the Salah. If you are establishing the Salah, there will be rewards in afterlife. Number four, staying connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salah is one of the highly effective ways to establish connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when we Muslims do our regular salah every day, there is a natural connection which grows towards the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they say if you do everything on a regular basis it gets better and better so if you are praying salah you are making connection with your allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it gets better and better so the better the connection you have with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the more benefits that you get in this life and in the life after. allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains in the holy quran in the chapter number four verse number one zero three Number five, protection from shaitan. You know, shaitan tries to make people away and gets them astray from the right path. And we Muslims do pray five times a day and we appeal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who are on the right path. We seek protection from shaitan by appealing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us refuge from shaitan and if we are not praying salah on regular basis definitely we are letting the shaitan drag us out of the righteous way it is he is letting us uh, getting us away from the right path so we have to establish salah
Number six, Salah prevents us from lewdness. Okay, what is a lewdness? Lewdness is a shameful act, an adultery act, or a lust in an offensive way. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects us from the lewdness with the help of Salah. Salah helps us combating with lewdness. Whether you are a married person or a non-married person, it helps us combat, it helps us fight with lewdness. So in today's world, everything is exposed to us, to our children, in terms of lewdness as compared to the goodness. You know, we have a lot of things that drags us to lewdness as compared to the goodness these days. So we, myself, I have to protect myself, my children, my surroundings, my friends by doing just one thing, by establishing Salah. You know, Salah protects us from the bad things, bad shameful acts. And it leads us to the goodness, it leads us to the successful life, inshallah. So just to conclude, we need to establish a Salah, we need to seek protection from Shaitan. We have to ask refuge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world and in life after. We need to make a strong connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by establishing Salah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who are on the right path, who establish Salah on a regular basis and who are righteous people, who are pious people, and not from those who, are, who went astray. So I would like to thank you, all of you, to listen. And I would like all of you, you know, to share this message as much as possible so that other people can take benefit out of it. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much.